Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, Web Dine Pro App App. And in this video, we will start with a new topic. And our new topic is inbound and outbound flux. One of the extremely important topic, if I will say whatever the topics we cover so far, whatever the topics we will cover in the future, one of the most important topic. If you are appearing for the interview on Web10 Pro, a back guaranteed this question will be from the interviewer. High priority topic. So what is inbound and outbound flux? If I will go for one liner definition, the purpose of inbound and outbound plug is to navigate between the views. If I want to go from one view to another view, I will always take the help of inbound and outbound plug. Just simply compare it to module pool programming. In the module pool programming, you are designing the screens. How you are going from one screen to another screen? At that time, you are doing the navigation between the screens. Now, same to same. In Web10 Pro App App, rather than screen, we have the view. We have to go from one view to another view. Because in module pool, you are designing the layout on the screens. Here, we are designing the layout on the view. So if I want to navigate between the views, I can navigate with the help of inbound and outbound flux. We will understand this in the system. Suppose so far what we did, we designed the whole layout on the single view itself. Suppose if I will run this Web10 Pro application, we designed the header detail, item details on the single view itself. Suppose if I will log in, okay, it is already logged in. Suppose if I will put sales document number, your header data and item data is on the single view. We took a single view and on the single view, we designed the whole layout. Now what customer is saying, on this first screen or first view, I only want the header data. Whenever I will click on to a button, there must be a button. Whenever I will click on to a button, it should go to the item data. It means on a single view, you cannot design the whole layout. You need to go for two views. And yes, you need to do the navigation that you should go from one view to the another view. Then in that case, we will simply, simply take the help of inbound and outbound plug. And this is real project examples. Customer never ask whole layout on the single view or single screen. Because in module pool, rather than screen, in the module pool, we are using the word screen. And in the web then pro app app, we are using the word view. Suppose if I will show you the only developed program, you will understand fully. You can see in this Web10 Pro component, we have two views. One view is main and another is main one. If I will run this already developed application, we will develop same to same kind of application. And here we will learn also how to create multiple views because so far we did only one single view. If I am running this application, you can see, suppose if I will put input, I am going for submit. On this particular view, we have only the header data. Whenever I will click here onto this button, now we have the item data. It is on another view. If I will click onto this header detail, it is, it is again taking me to the first view. Now it is taking me to the second view. If I will show you this particular application, here we have two views. On the first view, we only designed the header. And on the second view, we designed the item. Now, whenever we want to navigate between the views with the help of inbound and outbound flux, the steps are always, always the same. So in this video, we will understand the steps 
and then we'll start with the practical part. Suppose you have two views. From one view, you want to go to another view. And from another view, you want to again come back to the first view. Then how or what are the various steps we need to follow? What is the first step? You need to create an outbound plug in the first view, which will correspond to inbound plug in the second view. Suppose we will understand in the example itself. Suppose it is already developed application. We will start. Suppose, suppose this is your view one. Now from view one, we want to navigate to view two. How? Now, whenever I will click on to this button, whenever I will click on to this button, it means we are going out from this particular view. We are leaving this particular view. It means in the view one, I will go for outbound plug. Whenever a outbound plug will fire, there will be a corresponding inbound plug. But corresponding inbound plug will be in the view 2, will be in the second view. Suppose if I will click on to this, now it is taking me to the second view. Just understand from which view you are leaving and ultimately you are going for which view. So if I will again example, again I will explain. Now suppose this is your view 1. You, this is your view 1. If you want to understand in this way, this is your main, this is your main view. Whenever I am clicking on to this button, now I am leaving the main view. I am going out from the main view. Then I am going for what? I am going in of main 1. Now I am going to the main one. So from the first view, outbound plug will fire. And in the second view, corresponding inbound plug will fire. Now, now whenever I will click here, this is your second view. So whenever we will click here, I am going out from the second view. It means from the second view, outbound plug will fire. And there will be a corresponding inbound plug in the first view. It means outbound plug of second view will correspond to inbound plug of the first view. These are always, always the static steps which you need to perform whenever you want to do the navigation between the two views. Outbound plug of one will correspond to inbound plug of second Outbound plug of second will correspond to inbound plug of first. These are the steps. Now, what is the third step? And third step is extremely important. An interviewer guaranteed to ask this question. You are saying you created the outbound, you created the inbound. But how system understand that this for this outbound, this is the inbound. For this outbound, this is the inbound. Now, the third step is extremely important. We need to create the navigation link. Navigation link means we need to tell system that for this outbound, it should navigate to inbound. For this outbound, it should navigate to this inbound. So third step is extremely important. If I will show you, anyways, we are doing the practical. Now you have two views, main and main one. And in the first video itself, I put so much stress. Window is a container for the view. If you are not embedding the view into the window, it will never, never display. By default, one view is in the window. Now you have two views. It means in the window, we need to embed the second view also. So you can see we have both the views. So what is our third step? You need to embed the views into the window and you need to create the navigation link. Just see, anyways, we are doing the practical. But in this video, I am showing you the overall picture so you can understand that these steps we will follow. So this is your first view that is main. Here we have outbound plug. It is corresponds to inbound plug of second view. This is a navigation link. Now, if I will go for second view, 
outbound plug of second view is corresponds to inbound plug of first view. Just see, main is your first view. Main one is your second view. Outbound plug of first corresponds to inbound plug of second. Outbound plug of second corresponds to inbound plug of first. And anyways, we are doing the practical at that time, you will understand fully and it's an interesting topic because whenever we will create the navigation links, yes, it will create the interest automatically. Now, what, what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important video in every interview. It's a guarantee that this question will be in the interview if you are going for web 10 pro app. The one-liner answer is whenever we are going for navigation between the views, we will always take the help of inbound and outbound plug. So the purpose of inbound and outbound plug is to navigate between the views. Now, whenever you are going for inbound and outbound plugs, how? Well, you need to follow some static steps. What are those steps? Create an outbound in one view, but there must be corresponding inbound in the second view. If you are going from second view to first view, so there must be a corresponding, if you are going for from second to first, so there will be outbound plug from the second view and there will be corresponding inbound in the first view. The third extremely important step is you need to embed the views in the system and you need to create a navigation link because it is not a magic that for, uh, for this outbound system understand that this is inbound. For this outbound system will understand that this is inbound. No, it's not a magic. We need to create the navigation link. Now in the next video, we will start with the practical part. We will create a web pro application. We will create the two views. We will design the layout and then we will go for outbound and inbound plugs, an extremely, extremely important topic. So that's it in this video. Thank you.